when you make any kind of art, you have a lot of emotional energy. So I found that working in the book mops up that energy. I'm Emir Williams, and this is one of my sketchbooks. I keep sketchbooks a lot, and I've got various sizes, and each one's got a different role. This one is one which I'm only allowing myself to use pencil. This sort of sketchbook covers everything from notes, thoughts, um, half-baked ideas, uh, reflections on exhibitions that I've been to, or it could be working from other artists' work that I like, or improvising myself. But I only, I only use pencil in this. It kind of keeps the oven warm, is how I look, look at it. I don't actually work from these to make them in, into paintings. I, it's just somewhere where I can get ideas down or also maybe warm down after a session in the studio, a bit like coming out fr from the gym. I approach these pages as recording or imp improvising. These were drawings that I made as I was teaching an online drawing class at the RA. And I'm, I'm making reflective notes as we're doing the class. So this drawing was uh, an opposite hand drawing. And the fascinating thing I found about drawing with your opposite hand is that it slows down your looking, which means you're gaining more information. Because you're so worried about you know, trying to control the line, and perhaps the line feels a little bit more hesitant, the actual benefits are, are greater because you're getting more visual inf information to process. So you're getting to know the figure better. And this particular drawing, I started from the toes, because um, usually we tend to start from the head, perhaps, to locate the figure, and I thought it could be interesting to start from another point on, on the body. So it was starting from the toes. So I'm making these little drawings, working drawings, to help me think about what I'm trying to teach. And I think also, when you teach something, you question yourself. So I find it really important to be able to, to teach people, and then it makes me teach myself, it makes me ask questions of my own work. So these are sort of imp improvised drawings, which, which are loosely related to some of the concerns that I've got in my paintings. And I'm looking at how line relates to area and color, and specifically how lines relate to edges. So the four edges of a painting or a drawing are these huge, powerful forces. As, as Matisse said, the first line is the fifth. And I think that you know trying to connect the internal line with the external force of the edge is something that I'm always looking at. So these are kind of almost eyes closed kind of drawings, just me thinking visually. And I'll make loads of them. Well, I think it's really important to keep a sketchbook because you may not get a chance to have a setup like a studio or a workspace that you could work in on a daily basis, but a sketchbook you can. So in between times when you've, you know, you you may have lined something up or you've got a session where you can work in a in a studio or a workspace, a sketchbook will keep you ticking along.